Let's get it. We're doing something very spontaneous. Like, I actually can't believe I'm not gonna be in this apartment ever again. Finally gonna start packing. We found this removal list, it seems really good. Oh no! I bought some pineapple juice because I'm seeing my boyfriend soon. Delicious. Yep, and then. Ah. So by reading the title of this YouTube video, yes, we are starting to pack to move to Sydney. Like we need to get our shit together. We were supposed to pack last week. We've decided to go to Sydney a little bit earlier than what we were planning. So we're gonna go earlier in May to start looking at rentals. We're gonna be in Sydney for maybe like two or three weeks and then we're gonna come back and then we've got one week left in this apartment. That's why we wanna get as much done as possible. So then when we do come back from Sydney, we've got boxes and like everything's like pretty much done. Like I literally can't believe we're moving. Like I, I, I feel, it's like out of body experience right now. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm like trusting the universe that everything's gonna work out. Like I actually can't believe I'm not gonna be in this apartment ever again. I've only been here for a year and I'm like attached to it, but I'm not attached to Brisbane. It's 10.45, we've slept in, we've listened to music, we had our coffee, gonna do a quick gym workout and then I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna get my nails done. I was supposed to get these done <laughs> yesterday, but I didn't make a booking. I forgot how busy Fridays were, so I made a booking for one o'clock today. Getting these fixed, I'm gonna get Biab and then I'm also gonna get my toes, a pedicure done. And then after that, I'm hoping it's not too late after getting our nails done because we want to go to Bunnings and pick up some cardboard boxes and start filling them up. You know when you have too much dinner and then you wake up the next morning and you feel like the food is just like up to here? I had ramen last night, so delicious. I made ramen from scratch. And now I've just woken up feeling really full. And usually I have breakfast before the gym, but not today because I'm still so full from dinner last night. Like I don't usually like brow wax, it feels really weird. Like your eyebrows feel weird, but this, I recommend. It's Amy Jean, looks like this, comes with this. And what I do is I just spray some setting spray in it, make it a little bit wet, wrap the spoolie in there. And the eyebrows stay up like this all day. I only use the tiniest bit too because I just don't like the feeling of wax in my brows. But this wax is nice. Gosh, life is going to change so much. And then you can do this, but I don't really do this really. And they're not going to be moving. Always clean the spoolie. Just my quick gym makeup routine. Got some blush, lips. I love this stuff. Messaging my boyfriend right now because I am going to Sydney really soon and I want to plan some time to see him. So we're just like trying to pick dates. Okay, this is the gym fit. I'm wearing stack second left tights and then Elite 11 halt of top in sky blue. Guys, look at my perfumes. This is like crazy. I literally have a basket of perfumes. And the funny thing is I still haven't found my signature scent that I, that's like me and that I love. Like I keep on getting a perfume, loving it and then getting sick of it. My favorite perfume at the moment is this one. Joe Malone, Mimosa and Cardamom. I got this one in the UK and it just reminds me of the UK trip. Ran out of it so I need to order some. Like I got a little bit left but I've been spraying this one on my pants. I'm really weird. This one smells really fresh like laundry powder in my opinion. I've been loving this one. Vanilla. Billie Eilish. What else do I like? I love Katy Perry. Oh my god. <laughs> do you remember the vlog about that eyelash thing? It's still on there. A random false eyelash is still on my perfume bottle. And I don't know whose it is and I don't wear them so it's really random. I'm still obsessed with this. I've had this for a while. It's uh, more of a nighttime scent though. Socks. Yo. Sorry? Let's get it. Is this just part of the weekly vlog? No, this is a new vlog. I started it. Shit. What do you think of hair? Yeah, it's cute. I don't <laughs> like it. I don't think I like it looking in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you've got the flat. You're used to the headband. Oh no! I think it's the plaits doing it for me. No, it's the head, no headband. I can leave it. it, doesn't look bad in person. Wow, Looks isn't it. everything. It's not everything, but you know, if you feel good about yourself, you show up better. I don't really know how it works, but it does. We're packing in this box. That's what I told them. This oh! some pineapple juice because I'm seeing my boyfriend soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Oh my god, it tastes so good, like scalable. I love this flavor. We try and do this every day. It is two Brazil nuts. We've already shared this. It's pine selenium. It's really good for your heart. We have bad hearts so though. We did DNA test. Every heart condition under the sun is in our DNA. We also have episodes of tachycardia where our heart goes like 200 beats per minute just randomly out of the blue. So scary. Yeah, it's a scary feeling. Like it's like in your throat and you have to like hold your breath to you make it go away. And then collagen. I haven't tried this one. Jazz said it's good. The flavor is orange and turmeric. You have three of these. Yeah. Ooh, tastes like sherbet now. That's what it tastes like. Sherbet lolly. Yum. I've just finished getting ready to get my nails done. I'm going alone. Jazz has decided to stay home because she's not bothered. This is the outfit. OOTD. These are the shoes. 
finally got my nails done. I didn't bring out the camera because I was a little bit too shy. I was a bit busy in there, but got my toes done. Got the same color. The color looks really nice in camera, but in person, they're too light. They're not the color that I wanted because I couldn't remember the shade. I picked out the color. I was like, I think it's that one. And then he put it on. He's like, is this good? And then I was like, oh, and I didn't say anything. I should have said, oh, actually, no, it's another color that I, anyway. But yeah, I got Biab. So much sharper than acrylic. Like I can really scratch myself now. And they're a bit thinner. So I've got to be a little bit more careful with these nails. I'm going to test out Biab. And then if I break a nail, I'm not going back to Biab. I need something stronger like s and or back to acrylic. I'm happy with the length and everything. Like the shape is so nice. That's really natural. I'm really excited about dinner tonight, actually. We're making these bayo bun recipe uh, from HelloFresh. So as you guys already know, Jazz and I love HelloFresh. Um, we don't use it every single week because we've got a very busy lifestyle. We've been skipping weeks, weeks lately because we've been traveling. Traveling. Yeah, traveling. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we love about HelloFresh as well because we can skip weeks. It's also really easy to use as well. Everything's on an app. So you can skip weeks on the app. You can choose what meals that you want. For this week, we've chosen three recipes. You can increase the recipes. You can have five recipes in the week. It's just us two. So this is the one we're cooking today. How good does it look? It's peanut, chicken, and coconut chili bayo buns. The other recipes we have the crumbled halloumi and caramelized onion burger. That looks incredible. And then a Mediterranean veggie soup. We definitely want the bayo buns then. So I'm gonna let Renee do the cooking as she does every single day. So she, I love cooking though, so. Jazz doesn't like cooking, but you have to admit, you it's like very fresh because it's so easy. It is. Just comes with a recipe card, turn it around, and it's got simple steps at the back with pictures. It's all portion size. All the ingredients are in this bag. So no waste, actually, no food waste. No food waste. Also, if you haven't heard of HelloFresh, they create new recipes every week. That was the thing that made me very excited about HelloFresh mm. is new recipes. How do I keep thinking of every new recipes? Week. Like you're not eating the same thing. They taste amazing. Like they taste so good good one. they cater for any diet like if you're vegetarian pescatarian meat eater calorie restricting diet they literally do it all product delicious look at all that food let's try the sweet potato it's good oh my gosh cheers cheers it's good eh? mm -hmm. that is absolutely delicious we couldn't help ourselves that plate was huge but we ended up finishing the whole plate we do have a code for you it is capital letters hogan twins and if you use this discount code you will save up to 200 dollars off six weeks of hellofresh i recommend hellofresh if you're bored in the kitchen and you don't know what to cook get a box of HelloFresh and try out some different recipes. They have different cuisines. They give you recipes every single week. And if you don't like one of the recipes, you can change it on the app, super easy. We'll leave our code and a link in the description box. Thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the video. I have 700 photos here. I've been putting this off, I don't know why, but I'm about to play some music and go through all these photos. So what I like to do, I already made a video on TikTok and on Instagram. I started in 2020. I vlog it every year, but if you are new here, what I do is I go through my photo gallery on my phone and I pick 200 photos of the year. I do this because I love going to my grandparents' house and looking through their old albums. It does take a bit of work, but it is worth it. Because now look, what did I do? in 2021 and then i can flip it over and have a little look see oh yep renee and i started our youtube channel ben's 21st birthday and then in 2020 that's the car that i used to have it was a lancer mitsubishi lancer and then i got six thousand dollars for it i think oh no three thousand dollars i moved out with my ex i lived in Ormo for six months i became a registered nurse ben and georgia got engaged the puppies were born oh cute anyway the thing is i couldn't get it down to 200 photos i ended up picking like 400 photos so i went on amazon and they had an album that catered for 400 slips i got two albums because of the uk i wanted like just like a uk album you know where that is jamie fraser stood somewhere around there it was such a good year. So many things happened. In the newspaper, <laughs> I ended up printing out that one. This was my last shift 
at the hospital. I didn't know it at the time, but it was. I read this book because I was planning my holiday without actually knowing that I was going on that going on that holiday. We went to the Basically Besties live podcast, Georgia and Ben's baby shower. That was such a beautiful day. We met beautiful Georgia in Brisbane. This was us finding out that we got approved for our rental. We were actually crying in the kitchen. This was the gender reveal. I also cried that day. And then we moved out to this apartment and then baby Violet was born. Got lots of photos of that night. Look how tiny she was. Having her first bath. I got a photo of like every single family member holding Violet <laughs> for the first time. We went on the Basically Besties podcast. Violet wearing her first outfit that I bought her. Renee and I went to the farm for the first time. Shopping for the UK. Halloween dress up. Georgia organized this beautiful picnic for our birthday. Packing for the UK and we got some Uggs. This was at the airport, ready to go. What a good year, hey? Eh? Good morning. First of all, this little cardigan that I'm wearing is from Petal and Pup. I got it a while ago. Today, our plan is we are gonna go to Bunnings to get some boxes and some tape to tape the boxes and a Sharpie. I think we already have a Sharpie because this time we're actually labeling the boxes. So today we're gonna start packing like cupboards that we don't use. And then we're gonna start booking pest control because we have to do a pest control. I didn't even know this. I saw the email yesterday, but because we have a pet, we have to pay for like a pest control and give them the receipt. We need a carpet cleaner. We have to book these two weeks in advance because they tend to book out. So we're gonna do that today. And a removal list because we're not gonna do it. Because I was actually thinking of hiring a truck and just doing it ourselves, and then driving the truck to Sydney and then dropping it at like a depot, but <sighs> nah. I'm putting some fake curls in my hair today because I don't want to wet it. I just don't feel like having wet hair today. I'm just like not bothered. Renee and I were on the phone to our Sydney family last night and it was just so like fun. I had the best time. Like we were on the phone for two hours. It's just making me so excited to move there because we're going to be able to just go over to their place. And I could just see the happiness in dad's eyes. He's so excited for us to be living closer to him. We've hardly spent any time with that side of the family. But also when I think about Georgia and Ben and Violet and mum and my stepdad, I get so sad. I've always lived close to them. So being this far away from them is going to be so different and just so fucking sad to be honest. Like I... I don't want to think about it. I was only going to do a couple of curls, but I'm actually really tempted to do my whole hair. Hair is done. I pretty much did it to every single piece of hair. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's dry. I just don't feel like having wet hair. Go have a drink of water right now. I'm really liking the black on the waterline lately. I used to do this at school. Sometimes it can look really bad and sometimes it can look really good. Just sprayed some Burberry. I've put some Nopong deodorant on. I filmed a TikTok. I always like to turn my PowerPoints off. I don't know. I have this fear of like a fire happening. I feel like I'm overwhelming myself with all the apps that I'm forgetting to like live my life. Yeah, same. Big ones? Heavy duty ones. 140. Why don't we think about our apartment and like what we need to put in boxes? Like topics, like we've got books. In not it's too big not of a too box. Big. Well, there's either medium or large and that's it. There's I think medium. No this one's for book. Oh my god, oh, yeah. covers for your dining chairs and shit and lounge rooms, lounge covers. No, I thought Removalist does all this. So here's the update. We've just walked out of Bunnings. We didn't buy anything. We found a removalist. We gave them a call. They gave us some information. They said, do not recommend Bunnings boxes if you're like, it's a big move. The boxes aren't strong enough. Go to Storage King. Also, this is a removalist that we're talking to and we're going to get a quote. We found this removalist that seems really good. Basically, they can cover your furniture. Um, the only thing we have to do is just get some boxes from Storage King, fill those boxes up, and then they'll put them in the removalist truck and they'll literally drive to Sydney, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm curious how much they're going to cost. Probably like 1,600, worth it. Renee's talking to her boyfriend right now, but I thought I'd give you a little haul of what we got today. We only went to Storage King. We got some tape. We also got a tape gun to put these in. When we moved in here, I can't remember if we had a tape gun. We got some butcher paper, butcher's paper. They did have an option at Storage King where you could put your plates, like your precious plates and bowls and all those things in its own box. And they have like proper slip bags and everything, but they're like $25 each and they only fit four bowls, four plates. Like I'd rather just take the risk, wrap them up in this and then just put it in the car. Three big bags. We've got some medium sized boxes. These are the big ones. Oh, we've got 10 of each at the moment, but we got our film photos back. They look so good. Some of them are horrific. Like there's one that's just like supposed to be a selfie and it's just my head all blurred. But stay tuned. We're going to post that on Instagram. It's probably already up. That's Renee's blurry face. I don't know why that is so zoomed in. This one's a good one. We have so many from the UK. Thanks Josh for taking those photos. <laughs> so before I get a start to packing up this apartment, I'm going to open up this package. Oh. Little triangles. Never heard of this brand before. Called Fig One. Skincare. Micellar oil cleanser, hydrating balancing toner, ceramide moisturizer, and a retinol night cream. Oh, nice, eh? Oh my god, they're refillable, I reckon. Oh, that's cool. That's sick. Yeah. See? 
Very nice, very luxurious. Well, thank you. We're going to Sydney in a week. Finally gonna start packing. We have 20 boxes here, so I'm just gonna start filling them up. It feels weird packing up our apartment. It's like, <laughs> time's gonna fly real quick, so we just better hurry up and just start packing. Like we keep procrastinating on it, and like, oh, you know, no, it's, we're, we're going I'm soon. wrap all this up. I can wrap this whole bar card up. Yeah. Once I start, I'm not gonna wanna stop. Wow, these are quite small, aren't they? Right up, keep going right up. Cause it's covering that. Is there more steps on the other side? <laughs> oh, oh wait, so you gotta push it. Yep, and then. Ah. This thing's sick, it's so good. Just made another HelloFresh recipe. This one's a Mediterranean veggie soup. Nice and healthy for lunch. That smells so good too. This is really healthy. Here you go, Jazz. Thank you. All good. Ooh, smells delicious. Let's watch some YouTube. How interesting to add feta. That's such a good idea. Good. Oh my, that's a good delicious. Yum. This would be so good if like you're sick. It's, it's got that spicy. nice spice on the, yep. We have a PR unboxing. Holy, big one. Whoa! Ooh. Two dozen when I am, so I'm excited to gift you the baby tea from my new collection. So it's a small business, um, a business called Tull Addict. This is the shirt, the top. It's a baby tea. Wow, the material is Thick. beautiful. Really good quality. So it's a baby tea and you turn it around and it has a cutout of the heart. The love heart's lined with mesh. We'll try these ones on. Well, wow, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much if you're watching this. Kind of reminds me of Annapol a little bit. Oh my god, it does. Oh, this is pretty packaging. We have a package called Astralis. We went to a pink concert with Astralis face pearls. Yeah. Eyeshadow palette called Stay Grounded. It's got some neutrals in there. They chucked in a little mirror. Fresh and foolish full coverage foundation and skin tints. I'm excited to try this because I actually really, really love Astralis products. I use their bronzer and their blush and I just love how they blend on the skin. I'm really looking forward to trying these. Very affordable too. Astralis was our first ever makeup brand that we ever tried. And it was like the one brand that we just kept going, going back to. for. Big W. Yeah. Remember? Yep. Holy, look at this. I love this little scarf on it. It's so pretty, like as a headband. Ooh. Oh, no way. It's Rita Ora. Oh, what? It's Rita Ora's new hair um, brand. Oh my gosh. She's got curly hair like us. Rita Ora's hair brand. Okay, so we actually got invited to meet Rita Ora in Sydney. Uh, she was doing like some cocktail meet thing to for the launch of this. But I was in Sydney and we couldn't, we couldn't go. We couldn't make it. Was it. Like, um, it was like we could have, but it was expensive. The flights were expensive and it was, and we needed to go somewhere on the weekend. So her brand's called Type B, leave-in scalp serum. Shampoo, conditioner, and a treatment. This is the packaging. You turn it and then it comes out of there. That's nice. Okay, okay well, wait, can I tell you exactly what it smells like? What? Like done, I think I nailed it. To the T. Okay, what is it? So you know when you get those magazines and you have to scratch it and you got to smell the perfume, but you can also smell that magazine scent. It oh, like that. yes. Smells like a magazine, but like perfume magazine. Thank you, Rita Ora. Thanks, Rita Ora. We know you're a big fan. Ooh, it's got a little booty on there. Dare to bear. Clear start. Don't watch it go. Oh my god, I literally did a Snapchat out and I literally showed my Snapchat this. If you've got keratosis pilaris, pimples on the back of your arms, recommend trying this product. You just spray your arms, spray your back, then put your serums on. Done! Like, say, say goodbye to buttony, bacne, and hello to smoother, clearer skin. But, <laughs> but yeah, when you get pimples on your arms. Witch hazel and tea tree oil. I can smell the tea tree when doing it. 37 for the last year. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited Look about this bag. brand. I was thinking about this the other day because I saw a curly hair TikTok and she used bread and her hair bread. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, oh name. she used it. Hmm. Patrick House. Oh, Ooh. Patrick House. Like, wow. Oh, thank you. Baby soft detangling conditioner. Smell good. She's sweet. We've got shampoo and conditioner. Hair gel. Our Hair curls gel. are going to be thriving. You just want to lick it. Yep. They tucked in some macadamia oil. It's our hair and body, actually. Yep. Leave-in hair cream. Oh, oh my gosh. That smells amazing. Yum. Look at that. 
Let me give that a wipe. Oh my god, that smells so good. Childhood memories. Many childhood memories. It, it's, it's giving the um, old makeup that I used to use as a child. The packaging's glass too. Yeah. Mango butter. I'm always so scared to try new products. Yeah, same. But I think your hair, it's like your skin. Your hair always wants to try different products. So it's good to like try different things because your hair so might true. like flourish. Guys, you're running out of battery. These cameras do run out of charge like very fast. Yeah, because they're good quality. Oh, Emco Beauty. Oh, no. Oh, no way. Why do they do it every time? Emco Beauty have done it again with their dupes. They've brought out a dupe of the Salty Area creams. True. Going for the pistachio one first. It is quite similar, isn't it? Um, it's literally the exact same. I actually like this better it's than not the Salty Area. This is the consistency. And it smells like the small tub. Well, this one's thick. Oh, fuck, that smells good. Ooh, oh, you like that it's one. It's more of a deeper one. You like that, don't you? My favorite is milk. What do you want from me? Not possibly me. Like, please leave a voicemail. Wow, thank you so much, Emco Beauty. Oh, they left me a voicemail. Thank you. No, I get out. Crocs. The yeah, gibbets are amazing. They're like 80s. I want to put on my pink ones. Crocs. Mm -hmm. I like Crocs with socks. I don't know about anyone else. Oh, they feel so cool. Oh, they're comfy, aren't they? Around because they're just like feel so much. I'm obsessed with Crocs lately. Yeah, the gibbets are gonna look sick on these too. <laughs> I think I just want to sit here and put all my gibbets on. Hang on, I'll be back. Wow, I'm so grateful. Thank you to all these brands that have sent us this PR. We will, like, we're so grateful. Yeah, and thank you to you watching us Oh, right yeah, now. like, we wouldn't be having this life without you yeah. supporting us and watching our videos. I'm so grateful every day. These gibbets are so cute. I'm going to put them on right now. So these are what the Crocs look like. These are Jazz's little close-up. And these are mine. So I've got a blue shoe. I like put all the blue Ferris wheel? gibbets on it. I didn't actually know what that was. It's oh my god, it's a Ferris wheel. wheel. It reminds me of Edinburgh. Oh, it's backwards. So cute, right? I love that one. We're gonna end the vlog here and we're gonna pick up a new vlog today right because now. we have we're doing something very spontaneous. <laughs> You'll see in the next vlog. We're going to Sydney tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. We're going, we're going to, Sydney, going to tomorrow. Sydney tomorrow and we weren't gonna go, we we're gonna wait three days, but we we're like, no, it's the weekend tomorrow and we want to inspect this one property that we found. Oh, rental. We I love it. We it's literally perfect. found the one that we want. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you really soon. Bye. Bye.